Hey, I will, Ken. It's good to see you guys, man. God bless you, and yeah. thanks for thinking of me, man. All right. Hello, folks, and welcome here once again to Divine Fine Motors, and thank you so much for being here. God bless you and your family, and I mean that. And, folks, I want to congratulate you on finding one of the nicest. This could be the nicest, not one of the nicest. This is a 2010. It looks like it's a 2016 that's still being in the showroom. A 2010 Honda Ridgeline, four-wheel drive, half-ton pickup truck, six-cylinder, that is absolutely loaded. It is the RTL package. It's got the sunroof. It's got the rain guards. It's got the tonneau cover. It's got the alloy wheels. It's got running boards. It has the navigation. It has rear window or rear uh, camera. It has the leather seats that look like they have hardly been used. This whole truck is just perfection. Now a nice thing about this truck, I'm going to go ahead and start it up for you, is that it was owned by elderly gentlemen out of the villages. And you can Google the villages in Florida. It's one of the biggest retirement communities in the country. But folks, this thing has everything. It's even got a a dash camera there that you can watch going down the road it 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 videotapes and records it's like a dash cam now, i don't know why he's got it there or what he had it for but here it is but anyway it was traded in at the lincoln store okay it's got one of the nicest navigations you'll ever use. It's got the backup camera on it. It's got heated seats on it. It has four-wheel drive. It has the sunroof. It has the compass. But do you see that? That's a picture of the house across the street. And, of course, this is the rear-view camera in the back. But listen, here's the thing. It has 26,228 miles. It's going to have about 10 or so more miles because I'll take it to my shop and put it inside after I do these pictures. But it has all the books. You get all of the mats. It's got the rear mat, the front mat. I took the one in the back out just to show you how clean the carpet is. I know it's a little bit getting a little bit late. It's got the leather seats in it that are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I mean, this truck is just like brand new. It's got the tonneau cover, it's got the rail caps, it's got the alloy wheels, it has Michelin tires that have are like new, plenty of tread, and every nut and bolt. Now, I've taken you some pictures, but folks, every nut and bolt, everything under this truck is still like new. It still has stickers on things. It's got the uh, tow package on it, and let me tell you something now, if you're looking... At Toyota Tacomas, this thing is so much better than a Tacoma for so many reasons. Number one, a Tacoma does not have leather interior. Most all of them are cloth interior. They don't have power windows. You're not going to get one with sunroof. You're not going to get one with a leather steering wheel. You're not going to get one with Bluetooth. You're not going to get one with navigation. You're not going to get one that has so anywhere close to these features. They don't even have heated seats. But now listen, the older, the 10,010 models, this thing is gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Again, it was traded in at Village Lincoln Mercury. And uh, that's another thing that a Toyota doesn't do. It doesn't open like that. A Toyota doesn't have, this has got the cargo net in it, all that compartment down there. You'll not find that on a Toyota. That's your rear rear floor mat it also has the big rubber mat he's got a bed mat in here can you believe that but i don't think he ever had anything in the back of it every nut and bolt every door jam again folks those of you who know me and watch my site you know i go out and i only hand pick i pick every car myself i only get cars that look brand new and this one is one of them. There is not a mark on this truck anywhere. Again, it is loaded with everything. It's four-wheel drive, and these will last you. You could put three, four hundred thousand miles on this truck, and you could still drive it and put more miles. They're just absolutely, they just don't break. 
I mean, my wife and I, we had a uh, Honda uh, Pilot and put, oh, almost 160, 170,000 miles on it and sold it. <clears throat> and the guy's still driving it. You got the plug in there for all of your... Uh, all of your MP3, all that stuff, it's got all that high-tech stuff on it. Uh, but there it is. I know it's getting dark. I just wanted to make sure I got this done before the sun went down. The engine compartment is as new as the rest of it. I mean, look at it. Of course, he's had that bug shield. Look at the bug shield. Can you see how new that is? And the whole truck is like this, guys and girls. I mean, I'm just telling you, this truck is like brand spanking new. I think they had this on on sale for $26,999, I think it was. I'm not going to ask you to pay that much for it, although it's worth every penny of that, $26,988. But <coughs> I'm going to have a reserve on it, uh, lower than that, quite a bit lower than that. But now listen, it, this truck is worth $25,000 all day long. It's like a brand spanking new Honda four-wheel drive Ridgeline that has everything. I mean, this truck's got stuff I've never seen before. A dash cam. I, this is the first vehicle I can say with my own, my heart that I've ever sold that has a dash cam in it. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. Again, you'll get all the books, all the floor mats. You've got a, tr a bed mat in the back. you got the Honda tow package and this engine compartment. I, this is how I got it. The battery looks like it was only a couple years old on the battery. Uh, less than that, 215. So I guess it's a little older than the two years, but fairly new. The 3.5 VTEC, excellent motor, but everything in this thing. See the stickers? It's all, folks, like new. Of course, no accidents. It's never been smoked in. It looks like there's never been a french fry eaten in it. And as I said, it is as new as you would get one. This thing is just in pristine, pristine condition. And again, it's been serviced, taken care of. Can you see how new all that is? Look, <laughs> it's, it's a four-wheel drive. It looks like he didn't even, I don't even think he took this one to church. But there you go, folks. Again, thank you so, so much. God bless you all. You know, I just want to say a shout out here and take just a minute, as I try to every time I get on this video, <coughs> to thank all you who have blessed us for almost eight years now. In, in uh, April, it'll be eight years. I have been in this car business, folks, going on 27 years. And I've been very thankful and blessed. It's been a great career. It's, it's been a great thing. I left the... Uh, dealership I was at about eight years ago which was a BMW dealership my wife and I prayed about it talked about it and we decided to get our dealer's license <clears throat> and go in and have our own dealership and what I do folks is I pray I believe I ask God I look through hundreds and thousands of vehicles all the time every week on the internet looking at dealers looking at wholesalers looking at individuals I'll buy vehicles wherever I, God leads me wherever I find them I turn around and I sell them to you guys. And you have bought from me for so many years. And I just thank you, thank you, thank you. You're always sending me uh, referrals. You're sending me your friends, your neighbors, those people that just left here in the truck or referrals. I mean, I just want to thank you all so, so very much for blessing us. And that goes for my wife, Carol, and our kids. This is our home. We've lived here now going on 14 years we raised three of our beautiful children here, good, hard, hard-working kids. Our daughter is getting ready to go take a job in New York City, God love her. That little daughter of ours, Jacqueline, she got herself into Yale University. The other kids went to uh, the University of Florida. And uh, Carol and I have been here for 14 years, been in Florida for, gosh, 23 years now, I guess. And uh, listen, we're both from West Virginia. We just treat people like we'd like to be treated. You won't find a nicer four-wheel drive truck under $25,000. You can't find one any nicer because this is as nice as it gets. I mean, you can only have, it can only look so new, right? But you will love, love, love this truck. This truck will serve you well. They're very safe, very reliable, very dependable. 
and somebody will want it when you get finished with it. It's really a divine find. You'll love, love, love it. I also have a super nice 2012 GMC truck, and I've also right now got a nice 08 Ford truck. You can look at divinefindmotors.com, and you can see some of our inventory if we have it up. Listen, folks, I just go out and hand pick only about 12 to 15 vehicles a month. I sell everything I buy because I don't buy nothing that doesn't sell. Everything I get is good quality and great condition. It's like that nobody sits in the back seats. They're out there. It takes me a long time to find them, but that's what I do. I also have a super, super nice uh, 2008 Toyota Tundra. That's a one owner right there, and it's absolutely immaculate. XSP, that's a two-wheel drive, not a four-wheel drive. But again, thank you. I hope I haven't talked too much. You can always just hit that button and shut me up. But do this. Give me a call or Carol a call. Our number is on the ad. My number is 727-460-4283. And we'd be happy to talk with you and give you the low reserve price where you can go ahead and buy it. Real important factor, folks. My vehicles do not last until the end of the auction. Most all the time, I go ahead and sell them to somebody before the auction's over. So pick up the phone and call me or email me <coughs> and get this before it's gone. Because once it reaches the reserve, then it's got to go to the highest bidder. And it might end up costing you quite a bit more. But it's worth more. I mean, look at it. You'll love it. Again, thank you. God bless you. And listen, folks, be kind to one another. Love on one another. That's all this world needs is a little more love, okay? And again, thank you so much. I hope you've been believing and praying for something super, super nice and super, super special. Because that's what this is. God bless you and your family. Bye-bye.